close your eyes, focus on the breath. Think of the breath as being solid, a place you can settle in and stay. Find some spot in the body where it's easy to stay focused, or easiest to stay focused, and resist the temptation to move around. Get, make a habit of settling in, because it's only when you look at something over a long period of time that you actually see all the details. It's like wanting to study a tree. If you just run around the tree a bit and then run off, you're not going to see much. You have to stand still and look very carefully to see what kind of leaves there are, what the insects are, what the birds are. That's when you see it clearly. That's the same with your mind, and the same with the breath. If you want to see it clearly, watch it for a while in one spot. And get to know the breath there, and then with the lessons you've learned from that spot, then you can extend to the rest of the body. And the same with the mind. If you really want to see the mind, you've got to get it in one spot. If it's jumping around all over the place, all you get are little glimpses and flashes of this and that, and you think, well, I mean, maybe there's something really amazing happening. Well, if you look at it carefully, you realize, okay, this is just the mind moving around, but there's nothing really amazing about its movements. I mean, there's a lot of delusion in its movements. And the only way you're going to see that is if you're really, really still. If you're moving and everything else is moving, you're not going to see anything at all. So try to make sure you've got this center very strong here, and try to keep it in mind as much as you can as you go through the day. Because after all, what we're looking for is already right here. It's simply we're not seeing it clearly. Because so to see it clearly, you've got to stay here and watch carefully. As the Buddha said, you want to observe somebody else, you have to be very observant and take time. And it's the same with your own mind. You've just got to take time to watch your mind, to understand what's going on. And only then, and even if you spend a lot of time but you're not observant, you won't see very much. They talk about the soup. If you put a spoon in the soup, the spoon is not going to know the flavor of the soup, no matter how many years it's there. But if you put a little soup on your tongue, okay, immediately know the taste. So try to be like the tongue. Be observant. Notice what's happening. And that way you'll begin to understand, okay, how is it that the mind, even though it wants happiness, keeps causing suffering for itself? What is it doing? Where is the ignorance? It's right here. It's simply a matter of looking carefully enough and long enough. That's how you see it.